In this video, we will go over the steps required to configure a multi-layered geo map. We will use BIAL scripting so as to drill down upon these layers. First, we start off with configuring the data sets. We bind our first data set to the following region data. We select our subscribers measure and click OK to successfully configure the first data set. Our second data set is bound to the following data containing region and state dimensions. We select the measure and click OK to configure this data set. Finally, for our third data set, we bind the following latitude and longitude state and city data. Since we have now finished configuring the data sets, let us move on to adding and configuring the layers. To best complement our data, we select the following imagery style. To best represent our region data, let us add a shapes layer as the first layer. Selecting the layer brings up the layer configuration options. Under general properties, set the layer name as region. Set the label field as area and the value field to our selected measure subscribers. Under geocoding fields, set the state region option to the area dimension. To accurately represent our regions on the map, we will import a custom shape file. Under shape file type, choose option custom shp file URL and enter the following URL address from which to import the shape file. The URL is listed in the video description. We will now set up alerts to differentiate between the different regions. Under the Alerts tab, set the Alerts type to Choropleth Heat Map and select the Heat Map Levels option to configure them. Select the Add button to add a new color. We input the hex value of the color we want here. We add colors to differentiate between the different US regions based on the total value of subscribers they have. Here are displayed all the heat map choropleth colors we have added to our region layer as alerts. To best represent our US state data, let us add another shapes layer. Under the layer general properties, we set the name as state and choose dataset2 as the dataset. We also set the label as state and set the selected measure under the value field. Under geocoding fields, we set the state region option to our state dimension. Here we observe the shape file and shape file type have already been detected and added by Geospatial Plus. Since we want our initial output to only display the region layer, let us turn off the visible property for this layer. Later on, we will be using scripting to change its visibility property. Let us add our final city layer in the form of a cluster drill. Under General Properties, set the name as City. Set the dataset as Dataset 3 and set the label as City.
set the value field as our subscriber's measure. We will be performing lat long based geocoding using our latitude and longitude dimensions present under dataset 3. Finally, set the visibility of the city layer to off. Let us now modify the behavior properties of our application. Under the Options tab, disable the Show Legend option. Under the Pan Zoom tab, enable the Auto Zoom, Center Map on Point Selection, Auto Zoom to Cluster Bounds, and Dynamic Zoom on Drill options. These options enable us to visualize the data better by centering and zooming in to only relevant data points. Let us now add the BIAL script to be able to filter and drill down across layers. Since we want the drill down to occur upon selecting a specific layer, we add it under the On Layer Selected option of the Properties tab. Let us first go over what the script does. Upon executing the application and selecting a layer, the first two lines detect if the region layer is currently being displayed. If so, a filter is set on the dataset used by the state layer to only filter state values present in the selected region. The next two lines then hide the region layer and set the state layer to visible. If instead the selected layer is the state layer, the dataset used by the city layer is filtered in such a way as to only contain city values present in the selected state. The state layer is now hidden and the city layer is set to visible. Let us now add the script to the application and execute it. Immediately as the application loads, we notice how our region layer has been segregated by the alerts we've configured. Selecting the east region not only drills down to the state layer, but also filters our cross tab as it uses the state dataset. Selecting the state New York brings up the city layer in the form of a cluster that can be zoomed into. Selecting the cluster further separates all the data points.